Alrighty, everybody out there. This is um, Kevin Spurlock from Montana. Uh, my YouTube handle is, is Dog. just to let you guys know. Um, I am putting myself in for this year's um, 2018 Cobb Foolery for from Aristocob and the Cobb Foolery channel and for Scott from from Aristocob and this is going to be my my entry for this year this one I was too late to get into last year for that and at that particular point in time Scott had a bunch of the kits left over so I ordered a couple of them and some extra bits and stuff for this so this is my entry that I made quite a few months ago but I still wanted to use it for this year's contest because I didn't make it into last year's contest and I I actually took the um, uh, MacArthur of the long old MacArthur and customized it for myself for, my, for a personal fight for me but also for this contest and, and here we go guys I call this and sorry for that it, my nose is itching I didn't mean to make it look like I was picking it sorry <laughs> but anyway um, I call this this my poor man lazy man um, attempt and this is, like I said, this is my first attempt on, on customizing a cob. Um, so with that being said, um, I've got some, now this is for Scott's benefit, but this is also, guys, this is also not because, because I'm not, I'm not trying to brown nose Scott or anything like that. So Scott, if you, if you do watch this video, please understand that I'm not trying to do that. It's because I like the stuff, okay? I'm telling you that up front before I even say what the stuff is. Because my housekeeping part of this video for this Cobb Foolery, and I forgot to do one thing here. Okay, guys, I had to had to do this. Um, is Lane 1Q. I happen to like the stuff. For an aromatic, it's a mild aromatic. It doesn't stink up your room. Obviously, you can see I'm in my office here. And excuse the mess behind me, please. Don't critique my my backdrop, please. Because <laughs> I still haven't got that cleaned up. But what I'm saying is, is I'm for smoking purposes in this pipe today, I'm going to use um, Lane 1Q. Or Q1, whatever. I'm sorry, guys. I've got, I don't know what I did with my container. Just had it. Sorry, 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 guys. I'm not trying to slow down. Oh, here it is. I'm sorry. It's in my cellar jar, and it, and it does. Uh, like I said it's in my cellar jar here, and it is Lane One Q. So it is Scott's favorite. I know that, but it's also one of my top five flavors that I love the heck out of besides all the Englishes that I like but I'm just showing you that to say that's what I'm going to be using for my housekeeping and, and smoking this pipe I know you don't want these videos very long so I'm trying to keep it as short as possible this is it this is my MacArthur poor man's lazy man and I call it the poor man lazy man setter and the reason why I say setter because when I did this one obviously I took everything out of the out of the um, Cobb Foolery kit and used it. I figured instead of doing the fancy stuff and um, and adding all of the nice dad dudes and you know the cosmetics to it, I couldn't afford to, to, to do all that. Okay, and I didn't have enough stuff laying around here. I could just pick up stuff and use it. So I used the kit. Please, so please forgive me on that. Now. This is your standard MacArthur that I have taken and obviously modified because they're, they're a straight stem. I put it at closest to, I don't know if that's 45 or what that is, I don't know. I took the, the plastic stem and I hand bent that the way Scott showed us off the channel how to, I learned that and it works really well, Scott. I appreciate that um, tidbit that you gave me. I thought that was kind of cool to learn how to how to boil water and 
and set that in there for so many seconds and then you can get the proper bend without collapsing the air the the draft hole through through the mouthpiece I thought that was kind of cool and then i uh, obviously my my custom colorization of purple on it because i like purple see see how i did all that that's highly car now that's carnuba on there i actually took this and and sanded down all the roughness that I possibly could. So there's, you don't feel that um, where the, the kernels used to be in there, whatever they, the, the pith or whatever that's called. Okay, I did that so I could, and then I took the different grits of the, the sanding pads till I, till I got up to 12,000 grit, polished that out as best I could, and even did that to the top. I don't know how well you guys can see that. See how I did that? Then I carnubid and carnubid. So I probably got eight coats of carnuba on that. So that's where it gets its what shine it does have on there. And even the stem's been, been carnubic. So basically for protection. But the first thing that I did before I put all the carnuba on, I put a couple coats so it wouldn't soak into the bowl, but it would soak into the, the cob itself really well and the and the um, the wood stem here. I put a couple of marine um, tongue oil on there and and the reason why I use marine because it's water resistance once it's dry but I didn't want any moisture or anything getting in here and destroying the outside now I went one step further than what probably some of you guys that are out there doing this is I took some of Scott's own mixture stuff that he his powder that he sends out that we call mudding the bowl because I want this bowl to last forever and ever and ever. So I went ahead and did one of Scott's own tricks here and carbonized or mudded or whatever you want to call it the bowl. You can see that. And I have smoked it once or twice just to make sure that, that everything was going to function correctly before I did this video because I've been waiting to do this this year for or cob foolery now so you can see that I did that now one mistake that I will tell you folks that I do want to tell you that I made just for the pure sense of this I thought I could smooth out the inside of the bowl with with some tools that I had here when I went down into the chamber the bowl chamber to do that I hit the pith at the bottom of the bowl okay so I screwed up all right, which the only thing that it did when I when, when I say I screwed up, let me get this where you guys can see that. And I, I like the way that 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 sets and then the, the, the angle. But what I was saying about the inside of the bowl was I had to end up making the to, to straighten it out correctly. I had to make the bowl just a, a, a tad bit deeper to clean it up. And that's the reason why I had to get my angle correctly on, on the, when I did my angle of the drilling so I could put this, uh, the stem in there correctly and everything. So, and that's another reason why I wanted to, to, to mud it so I'll, I wouldn't burn down to the pit and screw things up. So that is almost, as I want to, I want to show everybody, uh, something I'll, I'll show you here just in a second also, to go along with this. Now I'm right on that. Let me get this correctly. That's how deep that bowl is. That's a two and a half inch bowl, guys. I've already measured it out a couple of times, but that's two and a half inches. So properly packed with your favorite tobacco, since it is a cob, you don't, there's no ghosting in there. You get just a slight, 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 and I've smoked a couple, two or three bowls out of it, like I said, so preparing for this, and I've smoked some Englishes out of it. I've smoked some good aromatics out of it. And like I said, the the, the one Q. Um, and I love it. it. It like I said, it doesn't ghost at all. There's no uh, actually there's there's really not even a tobacco type of any smell in that. So it doesn't ghost. Now you can see how like I said I bent the stem. Get that up there where you can see that. So now here's here's the other part real quick here. I'm going to use my cell phone because I don't have a way to put anything up here. Now, 
let me get my my own self balance not the pipe balanced but you can see that that's that's a nice little setter i did that for a reason because that's the reason why i called it the, the lazy man poor man because i did it on a poor man's budget and then a lazy man that doesn't want to sit there and hold his pipe all the time and wants to set it down every once in a while since it is a setter i made it into a, a MacArthur setter um that's why i did that because poor man lazy man don't want to hang on to your pipe all don't want it because you're smoking so much tobacco out of it you got a couple hour smoke out of this thing depending on how how hard you chooch on it and that type of stuff guys so there you go so let's get it let's get it packed up here be, before we go much further and and when i showed you this right here that is the true reason why i made this i used a a actual a 22 hornet shell and you can see that real quick i know this is another part part of the deal but i made this to go along with because i actually made a made another one that's just a standard macarthur i just did that for my own usage and that type of thing but I, but I did this so i can get down in there to the bottom of the bowl pack this and tamp this correctly and that inside of that bowl is hard as a rock that mud from that mud that's that's got got them to design and build and use to be fda approved that stuff works really well it turns it turns a corn cob pipe into a pipe if smoked correctly not just abused smoking it and keeping it clean correctly will last you a lifetime believe it or not i've got some pipes that um over the years they they've started to deteriorate but once i mudded them I, I don't see how I can't get a lifetime's more use out of them. So let's get this packed as fast as possible because I want to get this lit. Now, like I said, this is Q1, uh, eh, 1Q. As we can all see, that's what I'm using for this. And I didn't think you guys wanted me to pack this before I started my video because you wanted to see what the inside of the bowl looked like. I understand that. Oh, just to go down in here correctly. And I'm going to pack a full bowl in here, guys. And I know you're probably saying for this purpose of the video, I don't need to pack pack a full bowl, full bowl in here. But I'm going to because I want to smoke this stuff. This this will be my my smoke and only smoke probably of the day because I I, I try to limit for health reason wise and that's type of stuff i limit my my amount of smoking so please forgive me on that also now i like i said i'm packing this get all this in there that's why i built this 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 is a willow uh twig off one of the transitions of a willow branch and um so that's the reason why i put the shell on there because we all know that willow branches and willow wood is kind of soft and i have made some willow pipes in the past so for all you guys out there yeah and, and i carbonize the bowl or say mud the bowls and i get them i get them to work and i get them to the last which is, which is surprising that's the reason why i wanted to try this cob foolery because i never have have customized a cob but man, i don't know if i'm getting that down far enough but draw still very nice it, it doesn't have a real heavy draw now i had a mess load of of tobacco in this little tray right here guys and um like i said smoked correctly and packed correctly i have the couple times that i have smoked it believe you me i've gotten a couple hours of smoke out of it to sit here yeah every once in a while you have to stop you you have to and actually, I'm getting it down. I'm getting it down to the point where I could actually grab another good size pinch full. And I'm not going to do that. This is plenty for, for, for the purposes of what we're doing here today. Because I know I'm, I'm too long as it is already. And I'm going to do something. Because I just took that. I took it off there because um, because I just wanted to, for, for showing purposes. But... I'm going to stick this back on because I'm a clincher, these guys. 
So I use softy bits. So forgive me that I use softy bits. If, if you guys don't agree with them, that's fine. But there we go. So let's light this thing up. And I'm using butane to do this with, so forgive me on that. I'm not using matches. Well, I hit that pack just right. Tell you, because that's that's a good draw. And a good first light. Which I'm surprised, guys, that, that that's perfect. I will do it just a char tamp just to get this. And obviously when you do that, we all know this, so. Probably if I wouldn't have tamped it, it would have stayed lit, but, but I always want to get that char down on there. And this thing actually smokes itself pretty good a couple times because you can see it smoking out the top. And then occasionally, not always, but occasionally you'll get a little bit of smoke coming out the stem, which is a which is actually a good sign, because that's a good good sign of a good smoking pipe. And that's obviously you can tell that's drawing really well, burning out the, the top of the of, of the bowl perfectly. And like I said, I carnubed the living snot out of this thing when I did this. And uh, yeah, I did one thing on here, guys. I, I when I drilled this out, I did a little bit of a light, 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 light fill on on that, if you can see around that, and then colorize it to to blend in with everything. And I did I did epoxy it in there, but I use a, a what I call a safe epoxy. But the thing smoke it, it smokes great. Uh, I'm just surprised. I mean, that is the one twice like we do on our briar pipes and that type of stuff, or even our meerschaums or whatever, and she's still going. The the lane was only set out for the one Q, Q1, one Q, say it right, guys, I apologize for that. But that I only set out for about maybe five minutes or so from out of my cellar jar. It's, it is moist, but you set it out just for a short few minutes And she burns good. And I do that just to, and, and she doesn't burn hot. And I will tell you that because, like I said, I, I, I hardened the outer side of the bowl and I hardened and, and mudded the inside of the bowl. So there you go. There's my entry. There's my poor man setter. Um, I will do this one more time just so you guys can see this and know that that even with it lit, I'm not afraid to do that because she sets so nicely. And like I said, a, a poor man's, lazy man's setter. So I don't have to sit here and hang on to it or anything like that. I just smoke it and she smokes down good. If I, cause like I said, that bowl is so deep. If I get, get tired, I can set it down. And usually, not always, but usually, Yeah, see, not not always, but usually. There you go. But, and I love this cube. I love this lane. This this lane stuff is, no, and through this, the way that the, the length of the stem and everything, and I don't normally on a regular briar, it's got the shorter stem or a nose warmer. I don't have a problem with the with the lane with the tongue bite. It's excellent. But there's my entry, guys. I know I've been on here too long, so I'll get off here and get this edited and get you the link to it. And I appreciate you doing this, and I hopefully you'll let me in on the contest that I'm not too long. So thank you guys. There it is. There. You can see how I did that when I when I did my fill of, of the plaster 
and everything so I can still get the look of the of where the kernels were and all that stuff there you know I don't I'm not afraid to turn that you can see where the tobacco is in there and how highly carnuba I did the rim on top of the bowl that's for another reason so if I ever mess it up I can sand, lightly sand it off and re carnuba it and it you'll never know it here's the bottom of it so there you go guys thank you Come back and then start a jug full of good old Mountain Dew. Go to call it that old Mountain Dew, and those that refuse it are a few. I'll hush up my mug if you fill up the jug with good old Mountain Dew.